What's up, y'all? Coach Jacob here with Build Sports Performance. Today, we're going to take a look at our college football prep group and their 25-week periodization scheme. Now, what periodization scheme is a detailed and structured plan to get our athletes to progress from point A to point B and maximize their athletic potential, maximize their strength, their speed, and everything that goes along with being a great athlete. So here, you look at block one to block five, right? Now, one, each one transitions into the other and helps set the athlete up for success in the next block, right? You see our scale from volume to intensity. So when you see the scale and you hear me talk about it, the volume is the total poundage moved in that session with lighter loads and higher reps and intensity is higher and heavier loads with a lower amount of reps, right? So we take a look at block one. Each block has their own mesocycle schedule. So you see three weeks, right? Block one, aerobic capacity. They just came out of their last senior year of high school football and they're trying to prep for college football. Now in college football, they're gonna deal with stronger, more physical type of athletes, and we wanna make sure we set them up for success in that. So our main focus in their block one was aerobic capacity, right? Building aerobic energy systems, their cardiorespiratory endurance, muscular endurance, and just building their general movement patterns, push, pull, hinge, squat, lunge, um, and focusing on structural and functional balances. Right, um, they just finished this up, went into block two of hypertrophy. Now, block two of hypertrophy, a little bit of bodybuilding fun, getting them to increase muscle mass, um, get more stress on their muscles with a little longer rest periods to gain muscle mass. Now, this was paired with their custom performance nutrition plans that they were handed, and our athletes are on average up about 10 pounds. Right, so this was a great block for them to gain a little bit of size and set them up for success when we're just trying to train strength. Right now we are currently in their third block, which is a six week block. The reason it's a six week block is because we spend time in two weeks of time in each of the cycles of a muscular movement, right? So the eccentric is the lowering component, the isometric is the holding component, and their concentric is their explosive component, right? Um, so this block, they are focused on absolute strength, just building overall absolute strength and maximal strength. It is also paired with a focus of a drive index within their speed work to continue to prep them to get faster and get stronger. So you see percentage load range is anywhere from 82 to 93% of their one estimated one rep max. Now you say, how are we exactly working this? Based off of our velocity-based technology and the tools that we have from Virtruve, we are able to estimate their given one rep max without them having to test it. So we get a fresh percentage every single day and they stay within the velocity range. And this is how we either add or decrease from their load given that day, given that training session. They still have a hypertrophy accessory blend, still helping them gain, gain weight, gain strength, have a little bit of fun, right? In our drive index, we are focused on our first four to six steps um, from their dead stop stance, whether it's two point stance, three point stance, um, we're, we're focused mostly on foot retracement, hip projection, and shin angles, torso angles, right? Trying to get them to maximize their first four to six steps and the, the distance that they get per step, right? Then we're gonna go into block four. This is getting a little closer to their preseason and getting them ready to, to go to fall camp and put the pads on and really show their, their development, right? So we're still in a triphasic blended model this whole time from block three to block five. So again, it's a six week program because we're focused on the, the eccentric, iso and concentric. We're focused on power here. So now we're kind of lowering our, our percentage range, right? With higher intensities. So our velocity range is 0.55 to 0.75. Um, and that's the bar speed. And then we have our percentage load range from 70 to 77.5%, right? With our speed work now, we're increasing our distances and we're getting that drive index work that we, we learned and translating it into acceleration and deceleration patterns and also blending in some change of direction. 
now that we're able to produce better horizontal forces. Um, so then we go into block five and this is getting ready to send them off. So we are focused more on power and speed, right? So the, their percentage load range would be anywhere from 25 to 37% of that estimated one rep and their velocity range is 1.25 to 1.40 on their speed. Now understand that this load range and this velocity range is just for their main movements and nothing else, right? Um, just wanted to give a little bit of context on that because this is just a general overview. Now with our speed work here, we're getting ready again to send them off to fall camp. We've worked on their first four to six steps. Their acceleration patterns are, are more technical now. And now we're getting into our max velocity. And that is how many times we can touch our max speed, right? A lot of times we're worried about top end speed and the fastest mileage per hour we can go or meter per second we maybe only reach that three to five times per game. What we want to focus on is how many times we can average within that 90% range of max velocity because we are accelerating anywhere from 20 to 40, maybe even 50 times per game. Now, again, that was just a general overview of our college football preps program and what goes on with their off season, getting ready to send them out to their fall camp. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out or message us. Thank you.